everyone! Today we're gonna be building a flower shop in Bloxburg. I was thinking that maybe our flower shop could be here in between our coffee shop and our clothing store. Let's see how much room we got on this plot. Whoa, we got a lot of room actually. Like, we're good. At this point, we got three builds going for a fourth. This is a shopping plaza, 100%. Anyways, this seems like a really good spot for the flower shop. I don't think flower shops should be that big. Like, you should have like a staff bathroom and then like plenty of displays of flowers. As a flower shop owner, I wanna take advantage of the fact that I am in between a coffee shop and a clothing store. So I would probably want windows like on this wall and I'd want windows on this wall. Like I want people to see all the flowers. On top of that, we're also kind of like battling for attention. We need to be like, don't look at these flowers, look at our flowers. Like our flowers are so amazing that you wanna buy them. We're gonna enter the store like through here, I think, something like this. I wanna put like flower displays on both ends. Actually, you know what? Now that I think of it, it's kind of nice to imagine that all the flowers on this plot are thanks to the flower shop owner. Like maybe they're the ones who water all of these plants. That's so cool. I don't want to do an ugly bump out. I want to do a pretty bump out. That's not, that's not a good bump out. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm liking how this is looking. I know that we're just like trying to come up with the base sort of shape, but I think it's looking okay. What if we have something over here? Maybe we can put like an awning as well. This is probably gonna be like completely unnecessary, but I'm just imagining the flower shop owner just staring at everybody from the coffee shop through this little curved opening like, hey, buy some flowers. I think that's gonna be our shape for our flower shop. I like how it looks. If I sound sick to you guys, it's cause I am still kind of sick. It was my first time having COVID and I was hospitalized twice, but now I feel good enough that I can like record a video and I think I'll also be able to edit it. Also, I like, I just really wanted to post for you guys. <laughs> Don't worry about me, I'm good now. Well, let me actually close off this fence. Why do I like this shape? It's so tiny, but I'm into it. Oh yeah, I said that I want awnings and I think I'm gonna have the awning on the side over here. If we're gonna do an awning, Awning on this side, maybe we should have another one over here for like symmetry. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. I always just try things to see if they'll work out or not. This is one of those moments where I don't know if it's gonna work. That just doesn't look right. This looks weird. This is not a good roof. Is there any way I could make it work? Like if I add more pillars? Wait, wait, maybe if I add more awnings? <laughs> kind of looks like an airplane to me. <laughs> I think it's because we need to extend it. Extend, extend it. Is that gonna like mess with our awnings a little bit too much? Hopefully not. I usually like to extend them like to the the max capacity. Wait, wait, rustic pillars, rustic pillars. I wanna put them underneath our awnings. I don't know why I have awnings for a flower shop. It's not like you're gonna be sitting underneath these. The reason you have an awning is mainly like for outdoor seating, I think. And I mean, we're not gonna really have outdoor seating over here, but you know what? It looks cute and that's what matters. Awning in the back, <laughs> it looks stupid. <laughs> Maybe not, goodbye. I like to do this thing where I wrap marble all around the build and I think I'm gonna do it over here as well. But the question is, do I use marble for our interior. I like the idea of it, but also I think it's like too tacky for a flower shop. Like it doesn't feel so natural to have so much marble. And if you want a place to feel more natural, you need more like wood planks like we have for our coffee shop. The flower shop is so spooky. <laughs> Wait, it actually looks scary. Open for business, come get your flowers. I do think it's a little too close to our clothing store, but I also kind of like the vibe of it. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, you're just kind of walking through here and you're like, ooh, clothing store. Ooh, flower shop. Maybe I should like delete this concrete path and like continue the brick. I'm just gonna put some lights in here because it's so dark. I think I'm just gonna use the industrial pendant lights. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, what about the walls? I guess for the walls, maybe we could do a little design like this. We can do pink on these sides of the walls and maybe over here it can be like blue. We need a door for our bathroom. Is this door good enough? This one's even better for the bathroom. <laughs> this one's the best. If you got a flower that keeps acting up, just lock it up in flower jail. One window here, another window here, and I wanna put like a unique window in the middle. Like this one, this one's unique because we don't have it. What do we think of putting windows right here? Actually, I kinda like it. I just need to close these doors. So you enter the store from here. It's very see-through, but I think that's important because flowers need to get a lot of sunlight. I was thinking we could have a sort of hanging potted plant box thingy over here. It kinda looks like this, but it's floating. This one! I also wanna use the hanging pots. I feel like I need to use these for the exterior and also the interior. So I'm just going to kind of place them. I also especially wanted to put like two planter boxes on the sides like this. This, this is what I want. This is literally what I want. Look at these beautiful raised planters. I love this. And we're going to put our best flowers. And I was also thinking that maybe we could put like bouquets. If we were thinking realistically is that somebody could run by and just steal the bouquet. But it's Blacksburg. No one's going to steal, right? I hope not. Come on, don't steal from the new shop owner. 
Like, how do they close this at night? Is this window just like permanently open? I like the idea of using these blinds though. Am I able to put like flowers up here? Oh, it would be so cool if we could. I'm sure there's like a little like hack. Probably if I like put it on a basic shape and then I use a transform tool, I can like do it super quickly. Maybe it looks a little stupid, but I kind of like it. I know the basic shape is clipping through, but the concept is kind of cool. The way that I did it was I just used the basic shape. I put the flowers like right on top of it. And then I just used the transform tool to bring it up. You can obviously still do it using like a basic shape and carpets. I'm going to put a ton of these flowers like over here for me to pick up because I ran out in my inventory. We ain't running out anytime soon. Why do I love this so much? I've never seen flowers like this. I'm sure it's like a hack that people do, but I've just never seen it. I was thinking about how I should probably add pillars to these sides of the windows because I just like how it looks. It just gives it a more polished look. I'm wondering how to do the counters, right? Because over here for our coffee shop, these are the counters we use and they look really good. Over here for our bookstore, we use counters like this, which also look pretty good. And for our clothing store, we did this. Like for every single store, we've used like a different form of counter design. So I don't know what to do over here. Should I give them like a huge sort of counter space like this? You got so much like counter space. Wait, I think I might be overdoing it. I don't know because I mean our flowers and everything is going to be here. And I mean, we do want a lot of counter space because like where do you prep the bouquets if not right here? I feel like the light is not good. It just feels like super bright in the center, but then really dark in the corners. Maybe we just need to use like different lights. Maybe these industrial pendants aren't for us. Okay, I, I don't know. I just use this circular ceiling light. We got our cash register. We got our laptop over here. And then what about this little spot? Is this like where we make our bouquets? In that case, we should probably get a vase. Should I do like a fancy bouquet or a basic bouquet? Basically like a basic bouquet <laughs> looks like this, right? But a fancy bouquet, well, that's a lot more steps. This is what a fancy bouquet looks like. Does it look fancy? It looks a little awkward. Like this, this one's popping out a bit too much. I was also thinking that we could use some shopping bags and make it look like fertilizer bags, especially if we make it larger. We got like different sized fertilizer bags. We got an extra large, we got a medium, and then we also got this small one, depending on what kind of plants you need it for. Maybe I can put like a bunch of watering cans right down here. Obviously, <laughs> like change the color of them because they look really weird. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Maybe I should put like dirt on the floor. I know it looks a little stupid, but like I'm imagining that fertilizer fell out of these bags. We have this planter box available and I want to show like some more. Like you can buy this planter box as well. Maybe a tire planter box. I like the fact that I'm using like a basic shape over here to display all the planter boxes you can get. You can see the entirety of each planter you can buy from the exterior as well. That's so cool. I mean, it's a little bit awkwardly close to the cashier, but I don't mind it. And then the next thing is obviously we want to be able to buy gardening tools. So we have our watering cans over here, but we also need to sell like a bunch of these trowels. I'm gonna put a plastic ring right over here and maybe another one over here. <laughs> Wait, why does that look like aesthetic? What else does a flower shop sell? Oh, maybe a shovel. I'm gonna put a shovel behind the cashier. So if anybody tries to like steal something, just pull out the shovel and go running after them. Nobody's gonna steal from you anymore. I was also thinking of putting like a bunch of vine plants on the exterior. Is it weird to put it right here? <gasps> I might be doing too much. Oh yeah, and for the bathroom, super quick. A little sink and a little toilet. And that's all you need. Okay, wait, also a mirror. Where's that fancy mirror that I really like? It's a round one. I started using it again. <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, maybe it's not that pretty. <laughs> I think it's only pretty if you like get to use the larger version of it, like this one. I placed a bunch of flowers down and I think we're basically done. There's a lot <laughs> of flowers. You know what? The only place that doesn't have many flowers or well, actually any flowers is the bathroom. I don't know what to do about flowers here. I almost feel like it's not really important to put anything here. It's just a staff bathroom. It's not a big deal. But for the rest of the place, flowers everywhere. I don't know about an icon thingy over here. I really want to create one, but I don't know how. I'm trying to think of what flower to like replicate. I'm thinking of a sunflower. You know what? Maybe this is going to be our reference. We can start off with the horizontal cylinder. Let me see how this beveled vertical cylinder is going to look. I'm just going to resize it to be smaller. I, oh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm just gonna make it yellow. We're experimenting. No, I think it's working. But yeah, you need the transform tool for this. I truly do not know if there's a way for you to do this without the transform tool. That looks like a sunflower. If I just continue it all the way around, I think it's gonna work out. It's kind of clipping through here and I kind of want to ignore it, but it's cute. I like it. The total cost of the flower shop is gonna be on the screen. And this is what the exterior looks like. Exactly what you would think a flower shop would look like. Lots of flowers, lots of vines 
designs, lots of plans, and I mean, I guess a little bit of clipping. <laughs> Over here, I added a bench in the end. It just felt so empty. I wanted to create like a sitting area, and to be honest, I feel like it's kind of a vibe. I know it's like very secluded, but it also feels like romantic. I mean, the funny thing is, is that it should definitely not be romantic because like on the other side is the toilet. So it's kind of cool to like see the clothing store over here followed by a flower store next to it. It's interesting. Let's go inside our flower store. So obviously first thing like walking up to the flower store, I wanted flowers to the left and to the right. Oh wait, wait, uh, left to the right. <laughs> I don't know why I messed that up. Um, close the door. Welcome to the flower store. We have fertilizer bags over here. I don't know, I think it's nice to also come here and be like, hey, can you please make a bouquet for me? Most importantly, I got this random window here. <laughs> it's a pretty small store, but it took me a fair amount of time to make. Oh, we in the toilet. It took me a fair amount of time to make because I had to use so many flowers. I had to collect so many flowers. It's just everything took me so long. And the story I came up with for the store is that the person in here is the one who takes care of all of the plants in this whole area like all of these plants are because of them that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications love you guys so much bye